Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how the Teledyne LaCroix Summit M5X Protocol Analyzer and Jammer for Gen Z can be used to validate and debug Gen Z based systems. Using a piece of test equipment such as a protocol analyzer or jammer is critical as part of the verification of a device as well as the complete system for two main reasons. Firstly, to ensure conformance with the specification and secondly, to test behaviours in corner case scenarios which could result in catastrophic failures after the deployment of the system in the real world. Proper testing in the development phases reduces time to market and increases product quality and robustness. Test equipment comprises two components, the hardware component and the software component. The hardware component allows you to physically connect to the system under test in an unobtrusive way, and the software component provides powerful analysis tools to help validate the behaviour of the link and to quickly find the root cause of any errors that may be encountered. Gen Z supports different types of PHY technology. It is possible to have a Gen Z link that uses either a PCI Express PHY or an 802.3 PHY. The type of PHY being used will determine which test hardware you would use. For testing Gen Z links that use an 802.3 PHY, you can use the SierraNet series of protocol analyzers. For the demo I'm going to show today, this is based on a PCI Express PHY and uses the Summit M5X protocol analyzer and jammer for Gen Z. The Summit M5X protocol analyzer and jammer is placed in between the two components on the link and can either passively monitor and capture traffic or, when behaving as a jammer, it can actively inject errors into the link. The Summit M5X is connected to the link by means of probe cards. These are available in different form factors, but the example here is using the PCI Express Card Electromechanical or CHEM form factor. Since this is a protocol analyzer and jammer tool, the probe cards are just a means of probing the signal the protocol is the same regardless of the physical connection. After connecting the Summit M5X to the link being tested, the controlling software is used to set up which events should trigger the analyzer and how that data is stored. It can also filter out unwanted traffic, allowing effective and efficient use of the 128 gigabyte trace buffer. The jammer functionality can be used to look for a particular event and then create a jam action such as deleting, modifying or inserting packets. This allows the developer to test corner case error scenarios which may not appear during testing but would be disastrous if they happen once the product is out in the field. For more information, please visit our website at www.teledynelacroix.com. Thank you very much.